Hello, Divya. Hi. Congratulations on the big victory in the blitz section. Thank you. So, can could you tell us that what was your preparation after the, the classical game, which ended in a draw today? Uh, I ate. I wept about uh, not getting a spot in World Cup, and I was I was just basically sulking in the bed. Then I just got up, got ready, and came to play blitz. Okay, as you mentioned about sulking, uh, today's round ended in a draw. What was your position when uh, when Nandita offered you a draw, or you offered a draw? No, uh, she offered me a draw, and I think uh, she knew I was going to take it because I was in a clearly losing position. Okay. And uh, I think that was my best shot because I couldn't have tried that position, and it was what it is. So it's really generous of Nandita to do that. Would you have done that same? Yeah, if I did it. Yeah. Uh, Okay, you already have done it. Yeah. Would you like to tell in which tournament? Uh, okay, I wasn't completely willing, but uh, I basically did it for my, my own self. <laughs> I didn't want to play a long game. Uh, so, I had, I think, one point lead in National Women's in okay. like February. And mm -hmm. uh, I was playing Soumya Didi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a better position out of the opening and I offered her a draw and she took it. Great. I mean, uh, the disappointment turned into a joy later in the evening. So, could you please uh, take us through the tournament? That how, when did you decide that you will play the tournament, and uh, how strong did you think the tournament was? Uh, I gave my name quite a long while ago, but uh, I decided to play it right one day before the tournament actually happened, and uh, I had no idea how I was going to just come here, and nothing was planned. But yeah. Uh, I was just basically looking at normal chess before the tournament and uh, yeah, I didn't actually do something special for it. Okay, which was your most favourite round from the tournament? Uh, I really liked the game I played against Priyanka in round 8 because uh, uh, like we didn't actually, uh, she didn't actually commit some blunder or something and it just felt like a smooth victory to me. It was a big result because Priyanka was performing really well. So, what did you prepare against her? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I just knew that I had to take her out of theory because she is good with her openings mm -hmm. and in her comfort zone, she is uh, she is good. So, I needed to take her out of it and just take her somewhere that where she would be uncomfortable. So, I just took her to a neutral position and tried to grind her from there. Great. And uh, which will be uh, your toughest round, right? the round that you you want to forget? Uh, <laughs> both are different. Okay. Toughest, uh, I want to forget the second round. I got my king mated on g4, so I desperately want to forget that. And I remember being very, very frustrated after the round because I was pushing the entire game and then suddenly out of nowhere I'm mated. <laughs> So, uh, toughest, uh, I'm not sure, all of this, this whole tournament has actually been so tough and uh, all of the good players of Asia are here and I, I cannot pinpoint a game. Um, overall, uh, I mean, finishing third might not be the result you expected. So could you tell us what does a World Cup qualification mean to you? Uh, I don't honestly know. Uh, I, I don't know. It I, As of now, it does not mean anything, but I know that uh, it will be a step, uh, a bigger step, like a better step in my chess career. Okay. And as you know that uh, you are in a sport which has many ups and downs, right? And every day is like a roller coaster. So, how do you keep yeah. yourself motivated? Uh, there are various aspects. Uh, like, I don't know, there are just uh, a lot of things but I don't basically uh, do this for others like my main motivation factor is that I just like playing chess so there isn't there doesn't need to be like just some motivation for me to do it I just love doing it so that's why I do it Great. and uh, what are your future plans what future tournaments are you playing I have not decided them yet we're uh, currently in the process okay. congratulations Devia once Thank again you. I'm happy to congratulate you on the blitz win because I saw you a little sad in the morning, but uh, uh, but a great round, a great finish. Would you like to talk to us? What was your favorite round from the Blitz section? Blitz, such a roller coaster. <laughs> I I am not lying. I got lucky almost every game. Yeah. Like you could literally see the panic, and my hands were shaking, and I I'm I just got 
incredibly lucky that I was losing the last round and uh, with Padmini I was completely winning and then I <laughs> messed it up and then somehow her king got checkmated. I don't know, I j I've just been incredibly lucky in blitz. I saw you finishing your game against Pantika and you uh, went up to see Padmini's game and Padmini literally handed over the game. It was <laughs> like, what did you feel? I, I saw you bursting out of emotions. I mean, what did you go through? I mean, you were not expecting that. Yeah, right? I was not expecting that, but it happens in chess. And uh, I guess, I mean, it, it's just so normal, but I, I felt very relieved because she was the only one who could have, uh, who had the chance to become the winner. Mm -hmm. And so I was just hoping it was a draw, but okay. it. Uh, I feel sad that it happened for her. Okay. Thank you so much uh, for talking to us and we wish you all the very, very best. Thank you.